Tsaras, we are told, befalls a person that speaks negatively, that speaks Lashon Hora. How does a person become declared as having Tsaras? And it becomes Tommy. So the Torah describes in this week's parish of the process. The Kayin has to come in, has to check him, inspect him, and then declares the word Tommy. And at that moment, he becomes a man that is impure. He has to leave the machane, he has to leave the camp and become secluded by himself because he has tzaraz. Says the Dubna Magid, wow, look at that. One word, that's all it takes to turn him from a person that can be with everybody else to a person that becomes Tommy, contaminated, impure, and now has to remain alone. Just the word Tommy. Says the Dubna Magid. This teaches us what Shloim HaMelech said in Mishli, that life and death is in the power of the tongue. That one word can change everything. Shloimi worked in Hatzalah's department of flying blood or people to different cities in an emergency operation on a private plane. And he was instructed by his Rav to carry a phone with him at all times, including Shabbos. One Shabbos morning, he gets to the mikveh before Shabbos, and he's about to get undressed, and he takes the phone from his belt, and he puts it into the pocket. And there's a man there that was in cheder with him, and they were in a chassidish cheder together. This man had no idea where he worked, no idea what job he did, but he saw him take the phone and put it into his pocket. And he screamed out, Shaigetz! And this man who heard it was so upset. And he was about to respond and say, do you know where I work? Do you know what I do? There could be an emergency phone call at any moment. But he decided that he's going to remain silent. All throughout thinking, is this what I need to receive for what I do? Is it really worth what I do to receive this insult? But he says, no, what I do is great. And he continues his job. Two months later, he's sitting on a private plane together with a young girl who needed emergency transplant. And they're taking her from city to city to the hospital that she needs to get the treatment. And he looks up and he sees the man that's accompanying this girl. And it's this man, the same man that screamed Shigetz, now realized what he had screamed, to whom he had screamed it to. And he begged Mechila so many times, we don't realize the severity, the power of every word that we have within us. This week's parasha teaches us exactly that Yisoyed. And the Yisoyed is that one word can change somebody's life. Have a wonderful Shabbos.